there have been many consequential changes that no one foresaw. Once the definition of marriage is changed, it does necessarily have an impact on other areas of the law. Changes are things like on a marriage certificate, you can't have husband and wife anymore if you have same-sex couples. So it, 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 is, uh, it is not possible for a politician to promise that because there, there are going to be changes. I can tell you 12 years on after the definition of marriage was changed in Canada, there have been many consequential changes that no one foresaw at the time. There may not be changes in the first two years, and then you have an election and the government changes, and you have a new government who may, you know, make further changes and further changes down the road. Um, so you, you can't see what the end consequence is going to be. We have had changes in government at the federal level and the provincial government level. And so the people who may have made promises at the time the definition of marriage was changed are no longer there. They're no longer the ones making the laws. And so a future prime minister is not bound by the promises of the current prime minister.